Okay, so I'm a Maine resident, and this thing that's on the thing we got to vote on tomorrow is uh, the immunization thing, and the way they word the questions, and every goddamn one of them, they reword it so that you don't know what the hell you're saying. So let's see. Um, I, I've gotten calls on both the vote yes, vote no, vote yes, vote no. So you know what? Um, tell you what. Let's do this so we can put them on the spot. Sick and tired of this crap. Thank you for calling Yes on One Main. Please leave us your name and phone and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you for calling. Have a great day and vote Yes on One. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. 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 So we're not going to give you any information. And the call before that was vote no. Why don't they just word the damn things like, if you vote yes, it means whatever it is. If you vote no, it means this. If you vote yes, it means the parents have the right to do whatever they want. Period. People know what the hell it says. If you vote no, then it's okay for the state to mandatorily immunize all the kids. Simple. They don't get it. Goddamn government, they don't get it. Simplify it. Stop trying to deceive people. It goes all the way up to Schumer and Pelosi and Schiff and all of that crap. And sometimes even Trump. Hey, and I'm a Trump supporter. But government, smarten up, for God's sakes. Just put it in plain language. If you vote this, it means that. If you vote this, it means that. Pretty simple. But no, you got to complicate everything. Everything. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm retired.